Hi everyone and welcome to our next tutorial on the EV3 Lego robot. This time we're going to take a look at the software and how we use the software to communicate with our robot and build programs that we can download onto our robot to get it to do different things. First thing you're going to do once you open up the software is you're going to go to robot and we want to make sure that we've got compiler target set to physical robot. What a compiler does is it takes the instructions we write in software, converts it to a language that the robot can understand. So once we've written the program, we're going to compile it and we are going to send it to the robot. So make sure that this is checked. The other thing we're going to do is take a look at the platform type. There is the Lego Mindstorms EV3, which is the latest version. The NXT is an older version of the Lego robot. We are using the EV3, so just make sure that that is selected when you go under platform type. Now, if you are using a robot for the first time and it's straight out of the box, you might want to come here and download the Linux kernel and download that. And you might want to download the latest firmware as well. So just be aware of that, just in case you get some strange errors when you're trying to communicate with your robot. Always good to just make sure you've got the latest versions here. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go and set up motors and sensors. So for our robot, we have four motors. We have a right front motor and it is connected to port A. You can see the ports here. These are labeled on the brick. So make sure you've got these in the right spot. I know that B is the right rear motor wheel and motor C is connected to the left front wheel and port D is connected to the left rear wheel. Next thing we got to do is take a look at how we built our robot and figure out whether or not we need to reverse the direction of the motors depending upon how they're mounted on the robot. I'm going to have you take a look at the way the robot exists and consider whether or not you need to reverse these to get these to go in the correct direction. Over here we've got a drop down menu for the drive motor side. As we've indicated as shown in our label, this port A is the right side, port B is on the right side, port C is on the left side, and port D is on the left side as well. So we've set all of these up. These are all connected as EV3 large motors. Like I said, just watch out for this and figure out which one of these you may want to check. Be careful with that. We're going to click apply. And then we're going to go to sensors. Because on our robot, we also have a number of sensors. And the sensors are labeled with ports 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now it defaults to these settings here, but you can change any of these here. So for instance, if this first one is a touch sensor, then we will use the drop down menu and select touch sensor. We use a touch sensor, we want to use the touch option, not the bump. So make sure it's selected to touch. We actually have two sensors on our, so I'm going to call this touch two and I'm going to call this touch one. And I have to tell the software that this is a touch sensor as follows. Also on our robot, we have a color sensor. And so we have to set it for the fact that this is a color sensor, make sure that's selected. And what we're going to do is we are going to use it for detecting colors. So make sure it's set on two colors. We also have our sonar sensor. 
and make sure that that is selected in our drop down menu. Make sure we've got the right one for that. And we want this for distance. So be very careful. We've got our wires connected to the correct ports for the touch sensors or the color sensor and for the sonar sensor. Make sure that these are all set correctly. Once you are done, you can click OK. And that will save all of those. Let's save our file. And we're going to call this practice one. So we're just getting used to the robot here. Make sure you save this somewhere where you can find it. You can save it to your P drive if you wish. Just make sure you save it in a place where you can find the file later. I'm just going to go in and select a folder where I can save this. So there, now I've got it saved. So in this tutorial, we went over making sure we are connected properly and talking to the robot, making sure the software is up to date to make sure we can connect to the robot. Then we went into motor and sensor setup, set up all the motors properly, set up all the sensors properly, and we saved it. That's it for this tutorial. Take care. We'll talk to you soon.